वेलकम बैक वी आर इन कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ रोहित सिपाही मलानी ऑप्टोमैटिक सो टेकिंग फॉरवर्ड द कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑफकोर्स वॉट अबाउट द कंट्रोल डील्स न मोस्ट ऑफ दी अदर प्राइवेट एक्विटी फर्म्स वी हैव ब्लैक स्टोन वी हैव एडवेंस एंड वी हैव इवन सिंगापोर्स जीआईसी विच हैज मेड एन इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ कंट्रोल इन द कंपनी वेर यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड आर यू शाइंग अवे फ्रॉम दैट नाउ यूर राइट दैट द मेजोरिटी ऑफ आर डील्स टिपिकली टेन टू बी माइनॉरिटी ग्रोथ डील्स because our philosophy is really backing management teams and boards that we are comfortable with and really growing along with them that's our main philosophy but if we find the control deal that is interesting and you know meets our various value criteria then uh, you know we'll definitely do it and we have i mean about a year ago in fact less than a year ago when silicon valley bank was sending selling down the subsidiary in india which was in the field of venture debt financing mm. you know we acquired 100% of that business like for example crompton uh, deal that mm. you did and you're so uh, upbeat on the consumer side yeah. so you could uh, have done a complete buyout or a control deal in that one why did you have to partner with advent in that so there were a number of reasons which i can't get specifically on a particular deal what got you to particular situation but advent is some is a you know is a fund in which we are an lp we have a very good relationship with them and this was a situation where you know for a number of reasons it made sense for us to partner together to buy effectively uh, you know to become the largest shareholder of the company and you're also taking forward the partnership with advent yeah. uh, you had uh, even looked at lafarge in partnership with advent so is this are we going to see more deals being done by tomasek in partnership with advent no, i won't comment on specific situations of lafarge or any other company but uh, look we are lps in a number of funds and we have good relationships with them and we do co invest with them across the globe in different situations okay the hottest deal on the street right now is the lafarge deal 1.4 billion dollars is what nirma is paying why did you drop out of that particular one and would you have not looked at tying up with one of the strategics because this is one deal where a lot of strategics did tie up with private equity firms so look as i said i won't comment on a particular deal as to whether we did participate or not all i will say is that we are very bad at winning auctions and so therefore generally shy away from most auction situations why i also asked you about this particular deal because you have a huge exposure in cement at least you had probably you've sold off most of them and the valuations are really running high at this point and you understand that sector yeah but if valuations are running high that's not the time for you to invest yes Having said that like I said I won't comment specifically on this deal mm-hmm. uh, but I did say that generally speaking you know we're not very good at winning auctions and don't participate that often in auctions mm-hmm. but uh, beyond that obviously let me just step back and say you know the good part about our model is that we have the flexibility mm-hmm. to do private growth deals when the valuations are right uh, public company investments when the public market valuations are right or control deals where we think that we can bring something to the table uh, which will add value beyond what the existing shareholders can sort of provide so depending on the situation we tailor our approach and uh, make that call all right and what is your view on the e-commerce space uh, how the valuations been how much have you really deployed and are you like trading cautiously on that side or are you really upbeat so just stepping back i think uh, e-commerce and broadly i would say the consumer internet space in general in india is still at a very nascent stage and i think there's a very very long runway mm-hmm. to go uh, i also think that the winners in the space are going to create a lot of value uh, there clearly was a point where maybe valuations were a little stretch no different from how they were elsewhere in the world and you know globally you have seen some correction in tech valuations but i don't think that changes the fundamental thesis for the sector mm-hmm. and i think the winners in the space will create a lot of value here too all right and um, energy space of course hasn't performed that well you have uh, your a lot of uh, interest in gmr over here uh, would you venture in the sector at all and in other high debt companies which has been the theme on the deal street so you know i'll come back to what i was saying in terms of the focus in india has been more around themes around consumption as well as uh, areas where we see emerging global champions from india mm-hmm. and that will continue to be the primary focus having said that we will always look at opportunities across the board where we see value and which we think makes sense mm-hmm. and there's no reason for us not to look at opportunities in the energy sector too 
All right. So debt-laden sector. Some of uh, the other funds like CPPIB has uh, tied up with Kotak. Uh, Apollo has tied up with ICICI Bank. TPG could tie up with Piramal. That's in the news. So are you also looking at something like this? Would you venture into that space? You know, we are always looking at opportunities where we think there is value and where we can make returns, right? And the good part is that we're not constrained by looking at only sector A or sector B. So if there's the right opportunities, we will look at them. As I said, the main focus will continue to be on sectors driven around consumption, which means whether it's FMCG, consumer okay. cyclicals, healthcare services, mm -hmm. uh, and so on and so forth, as well as you know, tech, pharma, etc., where we have global leaders coming out of India. All right. So that will be always the main focus, but we will look across the board. All right, hold your thoughts there, and we'll take a short breather. Come back for more views coming in from Tomasic.